Watonga Taumofolau, project coordinator working with Tonga's parliament, said the explosion had caused the fall of small ash and pebbles, darkness shrouded the sky. A 2.7-foot, 82-centimeters, high tsunami wave was observed by gauges in Tonga's capital, and waves as high as 2 feet in Pago Pago, the capital of American Samoa, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said. The Fijian government issued a tsunami warning, telling people in parts of the country's coast to move to higher ground due to the bigger-than-usual waves. There are reports that several Fijian villages have been submerged and families evacuated. In Australia, Japan, Hawaii, Alaska and along the U.S. Pacific coast, residents are being asked to move away from the coastline to higher ground and heed special instructions from local emergency management officials, says Dave Snyder. Tsunami Warning Coordinator for the National Tsunami Warning Center in Palmer, Alaska. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology issued an evacuation order for Lord Howe Island and a warning for a large stretch of the mainland's east coast. Sydney's Bondi Beach was evacuated overnight, and the marine threat warning remained in effect on Sunday morning Australian time. The tsunami warning has now been lowered to a marine threat, the Bureau of Meteorology said a tsunami wave height of 1.27 metres was observed on Norfolk Island at 2100 Australian Eastern Daylight Time and a wave 82 centimetres was recorded on the Gold Coast at 2254 Australian Eastern Daylight Time on Saturday. It said waves as high as 1.10 metres were recorded at Ned's Beach on Lord Howe Island at around 11 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time and waves as high as 50 centimetres were observed in Hobart's Derwent Park at around 11.44 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. 